This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth. Probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So last week, we had an all Guilds of Ravnica Against the Odds poll, and unsurprisingly, in the end, it was our new You Win the Game, or actually your opponent loses the game card, Atrada the Silencer, that came out on top. So this week, we are heading to Guilds of Ravnica standard to see if we can get some wins by exiling our opponent's stuff with Atrada. We gotta do it three times to get the win. But we got some tricks to kind of make Atrada hopefully work in standard. So it should be interesting. A quick reminder before we break down Esper Atrada for standard. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy against the odds in general, it would be spectacular of you. If you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Esper Atrada. And starting with our namesake guard, Atrada the Silencer. So Atrada is a very weird creature. Four mana, you get a 3-5, which is fine. It can't be blocked, which is nice. When it deals damage to an opponent, things get a little bit crazy. So first off, you exile a creature that your opponent controls. After that, if the opponent has three or more creatures exiled with hit counters on them, they lose the game. However, after we do all this, we gotta shuffle Atara into our library. So we basically get one hit with Atara, it shuffles into our deck, we get that one hit counter, but we gotta do that three times to actually win the game. So the challenge is, how do we keep getting in hits with Atara? Like, it's powerful, it's unblockable. As long as our opponent's playing creatures, it's gonna be good, it dodges some removal with five toughness, but the shuffling back into our library is the problem we have to overcome. So we have a few different plans of kind of speeding up the process of Atara, and not just trusting that, okay, we play it, we get an attack, it shuffles into our library, five turns, ten turns later, hopefully we draw another one and do it again. We gotta kind of build around it to speed up that process. So, plan number one with Atrada is Forerunner of the Legion. So, we are not a vampire tribal deck. We have one additional vampire that we'll talk about in a minute, but Forerunner just lets us tutor our Atrada back up. So, we play Atrada, hit our opponent, exile a creature, get a hit counter on it, then we can Forerunner to find Atrada again, play it again, get another hit counter so it's a way we can find our Atrada faster after it shuffles back into our library and since we're playing this vampire tutor the one other vampire we have in our deck is Vana Butcher of Magan so Vana is just kind of like our tutorable version of Lyra Dawnbringer it's basically for the red decks a big life linking threat that dodges wizards lightning and lightning strike so if we're worried about just getting run over we can snag this big life linker with forerunner legion instead of Atrada and then after we start gaining life, we can get Atrada to go for the hit counter kill. So that's plan one. Play Atrada relatively fairly, but use Forerunner to find our copies and hopefully get those hit counters. Plan number two involves a little bit of a quirk in the rules and how Atrada works. So that is Siren's Ruse. So Siren's Ruse, two mana instant, it basically blinks a creature you control. You exile it, return to the battlefield. If it's a pirate, you draw a card. Okay, whatever. The trick here is when we attack with Atrada and hit our opponent, we're basically going to put a trigger on the stack that says exile this creature, put a hit counter on it, and then shuffle Atrada into your library. Well, with that trigger on the stack, we can flicker or blink our Atrada with Siren's Ruse, exile it, return it, and what's going to happen is the trigger is still going to resolve, our opponent's creature is still going to get exiled, it's still going to get a hit counter on it, but our Atrada is not going to shuffle back into our library. It's going to be there, it's even going to be untapped. So in theory, the nut draw with Atara in this deck is we play it on turn four, we get in a hit with it, we Siren's Ruse in it. The next turn we get in a hit with it, we Siren's Ruse it again with a second Siren's Ruse, get in that third hit, that's three hit counters, we win the game. So that's kind of trick number two, is just to blink our Atrada so it doesn't shuffle back into our library, but we still get those hit counters and hopefully eventually win the game. Since we're playing Siren's Ruse, we got some other sweet enter the battlefield triggers, so we don't want to be too exclusively focused on Atrada. Like, that is our plan for winning the game, but if the only card that really did anything with Siren's Ruse was Atrada itself, we'd have a lot of dead 
Siren's Ruses in our hand. So the rest of the cards that are really synergistic with Siren's Ruse, Hostage Taker, Ravenous Chupacabra, Enter the Battlefield, Kill Thing Trigger, Hostage Taker, even better because it's a pirate. So we get to draw a card with Siren's Ruse as well. And then Dream Eater on the top end of our curve flashes in, bounces one of our opponent's things, surveils to help us find our Atrata. Then we can Siren's Ruse it, get another trigger, bounce something else, kind of just like lock our opponent out of playing something for a while with the Dream Eater. So this is just more removal, more good cards, more synergies with Siren's Ruse. Then we have a couple of less likely plans, I guess I would say, for Atrata. So, number one, Forerunner of the Legion. That's going to happen quite a bit. Number two, Siren's Ruse. Hopefully that happens quite a bit. These other two plans, only one ofs, two ofs, that don't come up as often. So, we do have one copy of Helm of the Host. Basically, if we can equip it on Atrata, every one of our combats, we're going to get an extra Atrata. It's not legendary, so we get around the legend rule. Then we can just attack with the copy of Atrata, exile a creature, get a hit counter on it. Our next Next turn, we still have the normal Atrata with the Helm of the Host. We get another copy, attack, hit, counter, exile, something else. We can put on our other creatures as well, but basically, it's just a fun way to kind of abuse Atrata. The downside of Helm of the Host is it's really expensive. Four to cast, five to equip. If we go through all that work and then our opponent just kills our Atrata as we go to equip it, we kind of like double time walked ourselves, so there is a lot of risk involved with removal. Good news is, a braid isn't in the format anymore, so main deck artifact removal much less likely today than it was just a few weeks ago in our last standard format. So if we actually have the time to resolve it, there's a good chance the helm will actually stick around. Finally, Laza of the Multifarious. It's kind of a way to work with Atrata. I mean, really, it's a two-drop. It blocks in the early game. It gives us some nice value copying our creatures. But the idea here is if we play an Atrata and it dies, blocking or to removal spell, Laza can copy Atrata from the graveyard. Yes, it still shuffles into our library and all that stuff, but it's another cheaty way to get in a hit counter, or we can surveil over an Atrata to our Dream Eater, to our Lazov, and kind of use it from the graveyard there as well. So that's another way that we can get in that Atrata hit. So that is the Atrata plan. Just all different ways of hopefully getting those three hit counters. As far as the rest of the deck, we got some stuff that's just good. Thief of Sanity, Doom Whisper, they're just powerful card advantage generating cards in our colors. Help us dig through our deck, find our Atrata, find whatever we need to kind of just like stay in the game because Atrata plan is a little bit slow. Also worth mentioning, Atrata is at its best against creature decks and if we run into creature free control decks, Atrata is really bad because it's only really good if it's exiling creatures and hopefully eventually winning us the game. Thief of Sanity, Doom Whisper are cards that are actually good in the control matchups by generating card advantage so it kind of helps us in the matchups where Atrata itself isn't at its best. For removal, cast down Moment of Craving, Murder of Veraska's Contempt, a nice bit of removal for the creature decks. Discovery Dispersal, Argos Bloodfast, keep us digging through our deck to find our Atratas, staying in the game against those control decks. Mana Base, bunch of dual lands, some basic lands, a field of ruin. As far as the sideboard for the control matchups, and this is where we're heavily focused, because in our main deck, we have lots of ways of fighting with creature decks. We got Atratas and Chupacabras and removal spells, but in the control matchups, like I was saying, Atrata is really bad, to the point where we probably have to sideboard out Forerunner of the Legion, maybe even sideboard out some of the Tratas as well if our opponent doesn't have creatures. So we have a bunch of cards to bring in against control. Duress a Thought Eraser to attack our opponent's hand. Negate Disdainful Stroke to fight things on the stack. Argos Bloodfast, Elder's Reborn, Nezahal gives us some more card advantage. Nezahal, a great finisher if we can't win with a Trata because our opponent's not playing creatures. Hard to deal with, draws us cards. And then for aggro, we get a bunch more removal. Moment of Craving, Ixalan's Binding, just ways to customize our targeted removal. Ritual of Soot, settle the wreckage for sweepers. And that is Esper Atrata for standard. And that's our against the odds deck for this week. So is this going to work? I actually have no idea. I am having a hard time judging just how good Atrata is. I feel like if there's any deck that's going to get some Atrata kills, it's probably ours because we have a lot of cards that combo with it. I mean, four Foreigner of the Legion, four Sirens Rules, not even including like the backup plans like Helm of the Host and Lazav. So we have a lot of ways to find our Atrata and keep it around so it doesn't shuffle back in. So as long as our opponent's playing creatures, which that's my biggest worry, if we run into a string of control decks, we're going to have a really sad 
time because Atrada really needs our opponent to be playing creatures for the game to really work. So hopefully we run into some creature matchups and hopefully Atrada, tutor up Atrada, attack with Atrada, hit counter, do it again, do it again, kill our opponent will actually be a legit plan and thing that happens. So anyway, let's get to the gameplay. I'm excited to see if Atrada actually has a chance to compete in standard. So let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the gameplay, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. All right, against the odds time, we are Atrada-ing, and we're going to keep this. It's risky with two lands, but we also have two Atradas, which puts us a long ways towards Atrada killing, assuming this is a creature-y matchup. So, uh, lands, please. Deck. Mountain. And get to Lava Runner. Land, please. All right. Well, we're going to have to Discovery Dispersal to set up lands, hopefully. Ugh. Graveyard, Graveyard. Well, good thing we're not drawing those. Ah, and Dream Eater. Oh, boy. Our deck be not kind. That's not good. That's not good. Well, we really got to hope that getting those three cards deeper gets us to a land next turn. If we can play Atratas and Chupacabras on time, we should be good. All right, Field of Ruin. That counts. One more. One more land deck. You could do it. One more untap land. Come on, deck. Opponent getting Frisk A. Well, let's kill this fanatical Firebrand. Opponent Wizard's Lightning. Sure. Down to 15. Down to 14. Fire brand down. Down to 14. Untap land. That's the opposite of what we wanted. Now we might be in trouble. Opponent. It's in. And there's a shock. Down to 12. Down to 10. Untap land. All right. There's an untap land. So we will just Atrada. Pass the turn. Wow! Opponent! Opponent scoops it up! Does not want any part of Atrada. <laughs> well, that's the quickest Atrada win that we've ever had. Bring in my... Bring in Moment of Craving. We could bring in, like, the Settles, I guess. We'll go down Bloodfast. Go down probably some slow stuff. Dream Eater is not great in this matchup. Ritual of Soot also seems fine. Maybe we just go down all the Dream Eaters? Yeah, let's just try it like that. Well, we got a little lucky that our opponent did not hit their land drops. That sounds fine. Opponent. Mount in and passes. Well, ooh, settle two. Well, we need a white source for that, but we'll, we'll, we do have Discovery Dispersal to find it. Opponent. Mountain. Vashino Pyromancer. Down to 18. Opponent passes. All right, well, I guess we just Moment of Craving here. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. Yeah, Moment of Craving. Gain back our life. Opponent. Wow! Huh! What is their hand? <laughs> oh, <ri> <laughs> <laughs> oh, risk factor. Risk factor doing risk factor things. Wow, that is painful. Well, let's... <laughs> let's forerunner. Double risk factor, factor blasticated uh, cannons. Double flame -ikeld. That is... That is the worst for our opponent. Well, we'll tutor up a try to number two. Opponent draws some cards. Lava Runner. Hasty. Steamkin. Yup. Opponent. I mean, we'll block in a second. Opponent's out of cards. Well, play the Swamp, and uh, let's see if our opponent scoops to Atrada. Pump our Forerunner. Uh, yep, no attacks. Pass the turn. Atrada. The great thing about Atrada is we don't often get the third lore counter, but, but we do often lock our opponent out from being able to play creatures, which is just the greatest. It's the funniest, it's the funniest creature lock in the format. Once you get the two hit counters, your opponent's just like, man, if I play something, Atrada kills me. I can't play creatures. Opponent, combat, passes. Well, let's Atrada hit our opponent. Exile, Steamkin. Play the island. Atrada 2. Pass the turn. Oh, we're doing it. We're so doing it. <laughs> we're almost to the creature lock. <laughs> Ooh, opponent, what do you got? Land. Yep, passes. Oh, that's a forerunner. Okay. Well, get in with Atrada. Exile Lava Runner. Play Forerunner. Here, you can have a nice big firebrand. Tutor up Atrada. Discovery Dispersal. Draw Atrada. Eh, top and top. Pass the turn. And, uh, yeah, our opponent's just hard locked. I mean, they could try to burn us out, but we're at 20. They just can't play creatures. Okay, well, they, I guess they can. Steamkin. Opponent passes. Well, I mean, play Atrada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hilarious. Pump pump. Oh uh, yeah. We're not even gonna attack. We're just gonna we're just gonna try to <laughs> Alright opponent, what do you got? Maybe this deck is just good against red, as weird as it sounds. An opponent! Rather than the shame of the third hit counter, scoops it up. Alright, Atrada. <laughs> it's Atrada time. Sweet. Alright. Against the odds time, we are Atrada ing. 
and standard, and uh, yeah, we'll keep this. All right, island for our opponent, and passes. Well, watery grave tapped, pass the turn. Opponent. Is this a dreaded control matchup? Oh, it is not. It is the dreaded mono blue tempo matchup. Night Veil Sprite. Play Isolated Chapel. Kill the Sprite. Pass the turn. Bonet. War Kite Marauder. And passes. Well, let's drown Catacombs. Run out Forerunner. Tutor up a Trotta. Yep, sure. Trotta number one. Pass the turn. Opponent goes to combat. Gets in with Marauder. Yep, hits us down to 20. Sure. Opponent passes. Well, Watery Grave, untapped. Get in with Forerunner. Hit our opponent. And we are just going to pass. Leave up this Vraska's Contempt. Island. There's a Curious Obsession, so we are going to Vraska's Contempt. Wow, opponent lets it go. Okay. They really don't want this Atrata to resolve. Opponent passing. I'll play Isolated Chapel. Get in with Forerunner. Hit our opponent. Let's play Helm of the Host. This deck plays a ton of Essence Scatters, so it seems wise to play around it as much as possible. It does not play much real removal. Island for our opponent. Chart of course, draw some cards. <laughs> Are we gonna get the Helm of the Host kill? Phone it, passing. I'll play Drowned Catacombs. We're still not gonna play into it, so... I mean, if you got a Bounce Spell, you got a Bounce Spell. Equip, go to combat. Yes, yes! <laughs> Give us that token! Pump Forerunner. I mean, I guess we can just keep getting Atratas. Never have too many Atratas. Go to combat, attack. Hit our opponent. Okay, we played around the Essence Scatter and now, uh, now we got <laughs> Helm of the Host on Forerunner of the Legion. <laughs> oh, we'll take it, we'll take it. Opponent, land. Tempest Jin. Opponent, passing. Well, we draw Atrata. Play Atrata. There's the Essence Scatter. Yep, go to combat, make a Forerunner. Pump Forerunner, Pump Forerunner. Tutor up, Atrata. Get in with Forerunner. <laughs> yup. Hit our opponent down to seven. Discovery. Ooh. And let's not draw the, the third Atrata. Pass the turn. Opponent. Do you have an answer, opponent? Curious Obsession. Okay. Gets in, draws a card. Sure. But how do they keep from dying to our Forerunners? Yup. Down to 14, opponent draws. Opponent passes. Well, play laws of. Opponent counters. All right, go to combat. Forerunner. Yup, uh, do some pumping. Pump, pump, pump. No tutoring this time. Pump the forerunners. <laughs> Literal forerunners. <laughs> For forerunners. <sighs> Helm of the host. Go to combat. Get it. Yep. Attack. And opponent scoops it up. They cannot, cannot overcome the helm of the host value. <laughs> too good. Too good. Too good. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. That's not exactly how we drew it up, but we played around their essence scatter and uh, they could not stop the helm of the host. They just couldn't do it. All right. Uh, so bring in Ritual of Soot. Bring in Plague Mare. Bring in Moment of Craving. What is bad. Probably Lazov. It just can't block anything. Like Thought Eraser. Like go down a Dream Eater. Honestly, Helm of the Host is probably a card that we should be cutting. I think we are going to cut it. And maybe we go one Dream Eater. All right, try it like that. All right, on to game number two. Mono Blue Tempo. Ah, uh, okay. We got cheap removal, which is good. This hand seems reasonable. Island and passes. All right, well, Watery Grave tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent, island, and passes. I'll play the planes, and let's just discovery. If opponent wants to spend a counter on that, that's pretty fine. Actually, it's not good, but because we need the lands, but it's a counter they don't have to protect their creatures. Hopefully we just draw land. Opponent, island, and passes. Land? All right, drown catacombs. Uh, let's play bloodfast. Resolves. Well, pass the turn. Opponent, untaps. Land. Merfolk Trickster. Come on, more lands. All right, Watery Grave. Untapped. Yeah, we'll just pass. Leave up our removal spells. Bonet. Untaps. Trickster. Hits us. Yup. Down to 60. Land. Well, let's draw a card. Draw a card. We do want to hit our land drop. Ugh. All right. No land. Well, let's... Moment of Craving. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. All right, there's a land. Untapped. Chupacabra. I'll play Watery Grave. Tapped. 
Let's cast something. Yeah, let's Atrata. If our opponent counters, they counter. Yep. As in Scatter. This Blood Pass has been pretty good. Opponent passing. Yep. I'll play the Island. Let's Moment of Craving. Opponent has Dive Down. All right. Yep. So opponent saves it. We will pass the turn. Cast down. All right. Threg on. Opponent passing. Well, draw a card. We haven't done much Atrata-ing, but our deck has performed well. I'll play Drown Catacombs. Let's Thought Eraser. See what's actually going on over there. Two Essence Scatters and a Creature Copying Spell. Take an Essence Scatter, Hostage Taker to the Graveyard. And yeah, we're going to play Thief of uh, Sanity. If our opponent wants to spend their last counter on it, then okay. Resolves. Opponent decides Thief of Sanity, not worth it. Untaps. Plays land. Opponent passing. Well, draw a card. It's a land. Get in with Thief of Sanity. Steal something. Um, Wizard's Retort sounds good. Play a land. Let's play... All right, there's the counter. That's fine. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Well, draw a card. Draw a card. Pass. Transform. Get in with Thief of Sanity. Steal something. Well, let's just take more <laughs> Wizard's Retorts. Play Isolated Chapel. Forerunner of the Legion. Tutor up Atrata. Pass the turn. Well, I think we get the win now. Siren Storm Tamer. Opponent. When Arrows of Battlefield choose a creature, becomes a copy of chosen creature. All right, sure. Becomes a Thief of Sanity. Yeah, let's just murder Thief of Sanity. Untap. Play the land. Play Atrata. All right, we finally did what our decks tried to do. Pump Forerunner. Go attacking. Steal a card. Man, this deck has a lot of counters. Good God. Uh, take a Warkite Marauder. Might as well play a Warkite Marauder. Pass the turn. And I don't think the mono blue deck can get back from this. We controlled the tempo and Atrata, I mean, gonna get in some damage. Well, we didn't Atrata, but our deck worked well. Sweet. All right, against the odds time, we are playing some Esper Atrata in standard and uh, we'll give this a, uh-oh, the one drop deck. All right, well, we'll see. All these tap lands, oh, Helm of the Host. Helm of the Host is super spicy, but not for not for this we're probably gonna get crushed by a bunch of one drops here we do have some good sideboard cards but this hand is just a tiny bit slow for the old flip the legions landing on turn two deck no, sirens ruse all right pass the turn we got all of our janky atrata combo pieces but no atratas and yeah our opponent's just oh boy the start good god uh-huh sure you didn't do that opponent Gets in, flips, hits us down to 15. Removal, Watery Grave. Well, I mean, I guess we can Watery Grave untapped. Run out, <laughs> Forerunner of the Legion, I guess. Grab Atrata, pass the turn. Opponent, Guy Marcher's Pirate, City's Blessing. Yeah, that starts a smidge fast. Thankfully, like I said, we have some really good sideboard options. Ho, 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 ho! Whoa! Well, that is just... That is our opponent stack living the dream. Turn four kill on the play, and that is that is the white deck when it draws exactly right. So Plague Mare in, Ritual of Soot in, Settle the Wreckages in, uh, Moment of Craving in, Going Down, Expensive Things, Dream Eater, Helm of the Host, Too Slow, maybe like Murder. All right, let's 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 try it like that. We're on the play. Well, we'll keep this. Glacial Fortress, go. Planes for our opponent, Leon and Vanguard. And passes. Well, play the Swamp. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent, Snubby. And Bodyguard. Well, let's just let that resolve. Unfortunately, we gave Kill It. Play the Island. Pass the turn. We are going to want some creatures at some point. Land. Gets in for two. Down to 20. Knight of Grace. Legion's Landing. All right. Opponent passes. All the Sirens Ruses. Great with Atrata, but so bad when you have no creatures. Land for opponent. Attacks. 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 Well, I mean, yeah. Sure. Settle you. We need creatures. 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 Come on, creature. Well, okay. We will not complain about Doom Whisper. Doom Whisper is just a big old... Big old blocker. Pass the turn. This is what much better than game one. No attacks. Well, let's surveil. See if we can find a Trotta. 
That's a Trotta. Oh, put on top. Put on top. We might be able to just a Trotta combo kill this this deck. Play a Trotta. Opponent makes a 1-1 one, one shirt. Well, we will pass. Stay on defense. Not going to go Doom Whisper attacking. Opponent land. An opponent, they get, they scoop it up. Atrada? Atrada's too much, too much. Well, that was a lot less scary compared to game one, where we just got stomped. Huh! <sighs> All right. Okay, we'll keep. Hopefully our opponent's hand's not too incredibly fast. Dauntless bodyguard. Opponent passes. Uh, Atrada's. We got Atrada's. Land go. Planes. Knight of Grace. Gets in. This one planes is not good for us. Oh, play the planes. Pass the turn. Goes attacking. Well, Kill, Dauntless Bodyguard. Take two. More Knight of Grace. Land. Black. Well, play Forerunner. Maybe we should have mulliganed. No search. Just get a body out. Pass the turn. Getting in. Hitting us. Yup. Down to 12. Black mana. Vanguard. We need black mana. Vana. Yeah. Well, opponent gets in. Hits us. Down to five. Another Vanguard. We draw Isolated Chapel. Well, play Isolated Chapel. I guess we're not dead. We're pretty dead. Pass the turn. Well, let's... Veraska's Contempt Vanguard. Take two. Knight of Grace, number three. Opponent passes. All right, pass the turn. I guess this technically keeps us alive. Opponent attacks, attacks. Well, let's block... Siren's Ruse. Keep Forerunner alive. No tutoring. We need a land. Take two. Down to three. Legion's Landing. Oh, man. Ritual of Sut. Ritual of Sut for the blowouts. Well, let's Craving Adanto. Untap. Isolated Chapel. Well, I mean, play Vana. If our opponent has nothing, we survive. Pump Forerunner. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Conclave Tribunal, and we're dead. Oh, yeah. Well, that was close. We probably shouldn't have kept that hand, honestly. That was probably the issue. We probably should have sent it back. All right. Uh, against the odds time, we are atrata ing in standard, and uh, that's two Atratas. As long as it's not a control matchup. Watery Grave. Tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent. Ooh, Forest. Okay. Atrata seems good against decks that play Forest. Forests usually mean creatures, which usually means Atrata targets. We do need a land here. Prefer, ugh. Graveyard, graveyard. All right, we found a land. It was not easy or pretty, but we did get there. Opponent. Ooh, it's green black, I see. Dryad green seeker. Uh, come on, more lands. Well, let's leave a, a thief of sanity. Well, thief go. Opponent. Green seeking. Do they get a land? They do not. Eee, valving wilds. Cracks it. Well, come on, land. Tap land. Passes. Land? Not a land. Well, get in with Eve of Sanity. Hit our opponent. Okay. Okay. Assassin's Trophy. We'll take it. Assassin's Trophy. We will grab a island. And uh, it means it's a Trotta time. We don't get a free card, but it gets us the land we needed. <laughs> so thank you, Assassin's Trophy. A Trotta. Number one. We even got the Forerunner. This might be working. This might be working. No one expects the Atrada. Opponent, Green Seeker, finds a land. Woodland Cemetery, plays Woodland Cemetery. Golgari, Fine Broker, gets back a land. Yup. Opponent, passes. So let's get in with Atara, Atrada, Arata. Hit our opponent. I think we just exile Green Seeker so our opponent stops drawing cards. Isolated Chapel, Arata number two. How's the turn? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're doing it. We're doing it. Found it. What do you got? Evolving Wilds. Uh-huh. Cracks Evolving Wilds. Schwamp. And Assassin's Trophy. Pwn it. Well, we can tutor up another one. Gets in. Hits us down to 17. Sure. Hostage Taker. We'll wait on that. So we will just Thief of Sanity. Forerunner. Tutor up. You guessed it. Arata. <laughs> it's back. It's back. Next turn. Pass the turn. All right, Eldest Reborn. Well, we will get rid of this Forerunner. Opponent, getting in, well, we'll take it. Down to 14. Let's see what we can steal from our opponent's deck. Get in with Thief of Sanity. Hit our opponent. Get a, all right, Branch Walker's fine. Play Branch Walker, go exploring. Ooh, Dream Eater. Well, I guess we keep Dream Eater. Play Arata. Pass the turn. 
Discard a card. We will discard Veraska's Contempt. Opponent. Eldest Reborn. Part two. All right, we'll sack Branch Walker. Opponent. Getting in. Well, we'll block. Opponent passes. Well, go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Exile Fine Broker. Up to two hit counters. Thief of Sanity. Ooh. Take a Fine Broker. Shuffles in. Well, let's just play Fine Broker. Get back. Atrata. Pass the turn. All right. So we got to discard. Opponent gets to reanimate. No super great options, though. Yeah, we will discard a Chupacabra. Opponent gets back FIFA Sanity. Four is for our opponent. Fine, finality. All right, gets back a Branch Walker. Plays Branch Walker. Reveals a Branch Walker. Yep. Passing. Well, let's go attacking with Thief of Sanity. Opponent takes it. We get... Yeah, we'll take Frosca. Let's just pass. Opponent takes our Chupacabra. Okay, we got through two Eldest Reborns. Yep, kills Thief of Sanity. Next turn, we can potentially get down Atara 3. Branch Walker. Yup. We're all just playing each other's cards here. Swamp for our opponent. The Eldest Reborn. All right, well, there goes Fine Broker. Opponent goes attacking. Well, <laughs> surprise! Um, we have Dream Eater. Do some surveilling. Um, graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. And eh, we'll put it on top. Bounce our Thief of Sanity. Block Branch Walker. Untap. Draw the Swamp. Arata. Back. Thief of Sanity. Back. Hold on to the land for discarding purposes. And, uh, alright. Alright, opponent. You gotta answer it. Atara's coming for ya. Pass the turn. Can we get hit counter number three? We have to discard a Swamp. Yup. Do they have the answer? Isareth. Okay. Opponent. Passing. All right, I mean, go to combat. Do they have the answer? Attack, attack. Hit our opponent. Is it happen? Oh, so close. Assassin's Trophy. All right. So we get a land. We hit. We steal. So I think what we do is take Assassin's Trophy. Play Veraska. Blow up Eldest Reborn. Pass the turn. Opponent. Ugh, Veraska again. Okay. Destroys our Thief of Sanity. Gets in at Veraska. Face. So we get to keep our Veraska? Well, their Veraska? Yeah, all right. Well, Trophy Isareth. Keep Veraska. <laughs> what a ridiculous game. Opponent hits us to 10 and passes. Play Lazav. And we'll keep Bloodfast. Make a Pirate. Play Hostage Taker. Steal Branch Walker. Play Branch Walker. <laughs> this has been an insane game. We've just been playing with each other's cards for like the entire game. Yup. Branch Walker. Explores. Bloodfast staying on top. Pass the turn. Now our opponent has to deal with Lazav because Lazav becomes Etrada, although they don't have a creature because this is our creature, so they wouldn't have a creature with a hit counter on it because that would be our creature exiled. Oh my god, what a ridiculous game. <laughs> Ah, oh, chups! All right. I assume this takes down Lazav. Yeah, Lazav down. Sure. Opponent makes a pirate and passes. Well, let's kill the pirate. Attack our opponents for Asuka. Opponent blocks and blocks. Yep. Play Thief of Sanity. Play Bloodfast. Pass the turn. Man, we might have finally grounded out. And we got the GG's. Wow. All right. Well, on to game two. We probably want, like, another Bloodfast. Helm of the Host seems a little bad. We probably, like, want our Eldest Reborn and maybe Thought Erasers. Go down the Moment of Craving. Go down a Siren's Ruse. And maybe one Forerunner. All right. Let's try it like that. Eh. All right. This hand's fine. Thief of Sanity's pretty good. Overground Tune. Tapped. Opponent. Passing. Watery Grave. Goo. Opponent, Forest, and Branch Walker. Sure, Jade Light Ranger. That's a good one. Well, let's drown Catacombs and Discovery. Well, let's put in the graveyard. Yeah, let's just put them both in the graveyard. Pass the turn. Opponent, Swamp. And there's Jade Light. Land and Veraska. That's going to be a problem eventually. 
opponent gets it. 4-3. Down to 17. Well, played Round Catacombs. Play Thief of Sanity. Pass the turn. Woodland Cemetery. Opponent gets it. Hits us. Yep. Down to 11. No blocks. And passes. Well, go to combat. Get in with Thief of Sanity. Opponent has cast down. Play Atrata. Pass the turn. Opponent. Cracks Evolving Wilds. Gets a Swamp. Dead weight. Opponent. Hits us. We take it. Yeah. Down to five. That is a low life total. Opponent passes. Well, get in with Atrata. Hit our opponent. Get rid of Jade Light. Shuffle it in. Play a Swamp. Play Lazov. I guess we keep Thief of Sanity. Play Thief of Sanity. Pass the turn. Opponent. Untaps. Land. Veraska time. Yep. There is big ol' Veraska. Wow. Kills Lazov. Interesting. All right. Opponent gets in. We drop to two. Sure. Opponent passes. So play the planes. Thief of Sanity. Hit our opponent. Steal Jade Light. Hostage Taker on Branch Walker. Play Branch Walker. Go exploring. All right, hit a land, pass the turn. All right, we got the Siren's Ruse in hand too, which is super sweet with Hostage Taker. Four is for our opponent. Mag's a pirate. Two cards in hand. What's a follow-up to Eldest Reborn? Well, we will sacrifice Branch Walker. Opponent, passing. So go to combat, hit our opponent, hit Veraska. We get, well, I guess find Finality. Siren's Ruse, Hostage Taker. Get rid of the pirate. Play Jade Light Ranger. Go exploring. Chupacabra top. Chupacabra top. Play the island. Find. Get back Laza of Thief of Sanity. Man, Thief of Sanity is great. Pass the turn. Now, we got a discard. We will discard Field of Ruin. Land for our opponent. Cash is in Veraska. Kills Thief of Sanity. Well, they have another one. Ugh. Another Veraska. Okay. Makes a pirate. And passes. Well, let's just Chupacabra. Kill the pirate. Thief of Sanity. Attack for Asuka. Down to two. Pass the turn. All right, opponent gets to reanimate. Gets back Izareth. Okay. One card in hand. Chupacabra. That's a pretty good draw. All right, hits Thief of Sanity. Makes a pirate. Opponent passes. Murder Izareth. Cast down the pirate. Go to combat. Attack for Asuka. Attack for Asuka. Okay. Play Lazov. And what a swingy game. Surveils. Uh, all right. We'll keep a, a Trotta. Pass the turn. Makes a pirate. Yup. Go Gary. Fine broker. Sure. Gets back Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Yup. Kills hostage taker. Okay. Opponent. Passes. I think we're in trouble. We're getting buried under this Faraska. An opponent. Oh no. After the crazy match, says they have to go because their wife is calling. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was a super awesome match. I don't know what it does for the record, but boy, were these fun games. And opponent scoops it up, and I mean, a win's a win. Oh, man, what a crazy game. Those were just, that was a really fun matchup. All right, well, we'll take it. Sweet. All right, uh... Against the odds time, we are playing some Esper Atrata, and this ad is slow, but we have our jankiest of combos. Steam vents. Tapped. Uh-oh. Control. Control is not what we want to see. Island go. Yeah, looks like Jess Guy Control. Well, we have lots of sideboard cards for the control matchup. Unfortunately, Atrata, not super helpful against control. Opponent. Island. And passing. Well, Drown Catacombs, go. Opponent, Sacred Foundry, tapped. And passes. Chupacabra, well, I mean, we'll run out of Rata. We're just hoping our opponent does not have Teferi. If they have Teferi, very bad news. Ionize, down to 18, sure. All right, no Teferis. Teferi, all right. This one's probably over now. Fairy untaps. Uh, play Isolated Chapel. I mean, <laughs> all right. Play Helm of the Host. Pass the turn. Yeah, well, we'll shift into sideboard mode here shortly and bring in stuff that actually has a chance against the no creature decks. Field of Ruin. Ezkanta. Opponent. Untap some lands. Yep, fully untapped. Opponent. 
passes. More lands. Well, play Isolated Chapel, pass the turn. Opponent's going to Field of Ruin. I guess they just want cards in their graveyard. Yep. Untaps. Ascanta. Mills land. Field of Ruin. Draws with Teferi. Opponent. Passing. I mean, we're gonna run out Dream Eater. Wow. Resolves. So, it's gonna die. Okay. Dream Eater dies. But we get to Surveil. Graveyard. We don't want any of these cards, do we? Graveyard. Graveyard. Yeah, Graveyard. Bounce to Fairy. Yep. Pona gets to untap some lands. I'll play the island. No copies. Opponent. Yeah, the creature free control deck is basically the errata nightmare. Because errata just, it doesn't do anything. Opponent. Untaps. Ascanta. Mills. Shivin Fire. Plays land. Well, there's Teferi. Yeah, we gotta try it. If they got a counter, they got a counter. Frasca's Contempt. So Teferi down. Opponent. Passing. All right, come on. Something. Something, something, big draw. Vana. Oh, play Vana. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Justice Strike. And the deck's got a lot of removal, that's for sure. Ascanta. No transform. Okay. Plays a land. Teferi. Yeah, all right. We're going to call it a day here. Our deck is uh, going to get better after sideboarding, hopefully. We bring in Duress. We bring in two Thought Erasers. We bring in an Ixalan's Binding. Disdainful Stroke Negate Nezahal in Eldest Reborn. Argul's Bloodfast. We go down Forerunner of the Legion. We go down Vana. We go down Cast Downs. We go down Murder. We go down Moment of Craving. And we go down Atrada. And I think we just try it like that. All right. We play first. Oh, God. This is the worst hand I've ever seen. Siren. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully we scry into black mana and can play Theft of Sanity. All right. That's black mana. All right. Well, Glacial Fortress, go. Well, now we can play Thief of Sanities and uh, make our opponent kill them. Steam Vents. Tapped. Opponent. Passes. Well, Isolated Chapel, go. Opponent. Glacial Fortress. And Discanta. Opponent passes. So many Sirens ruses. Uh, well, let's run out Thief of Sanity. Pass the turn. Search for Discanta. Mills a Field of Ruin. Island. Opponent passes. Well, get in with Thief of Sanity. Attack. Wow, we actually get in the hit? Okay. Well, take Ionize. Yeah, I guess we just pass. We are helping our opponent flip this search for Ascanta. Ascanta. Missing our land drops, not the best. Mill syncopate. Plays land. Passes. All right, play Isolated Chapel. Go to combat. Get in with Thief of Sanity. Maybe our opponent wants us to be hitting them to flip this Ascanta. Well, take to Fairy and pass the turn. All right, opponent. Well, we helped you out. You get mission briefing. Okay. Mills, yeah, Justice Strike. Well, let's counter it. Ionize. Opponent out of 14. Is Kanta flipping, though? Can they follow it up with Teferi? Steam Vents. Tapped. Wow. Okay. Kills our Theft of Sanity. Uh, land, please, for Teferi? Uh, Disdainful Stroke. That's very, very, very bad. Well, Thought Eraser. Take Ionize, I guess. Dream Eater to the graveyard. Yeah, pass the turn. All right. Well, we tried. Opponent starts drawing cards. Mills a Chemist's Insight. And I don't think it's possible we win from here. Unfortunately, it's too late. So we will... Oh, boy. Well, play Thief of Sanity. We only have one blue mana as well. Pass the turn. Yeah, too much card advantage. And our deck just has too many dead cards. Lightning Strike, yup. And I think we're... Yeah, I think we're to the scoop it up point. Opponent draws cards. <laughs> we're literal 0% to win this game. Our hand is completely dead. Our opponent's got 7 cards. They're drawing 3 cards a turn. Alright, and we will just scoop it up. Alright. Against the odds time, we are playing some Esper Arata. <laughs> uh, Atara? Atara. I think it's Atara. Let's go with that. In standard. And we'll keep this. Mana, a little bit awkward. Lots of Glacial Fortresses. Not so many Black Sources, but we'll give it a go. Opponent. Mountain. It's the red deck. There's Lava Runner. Opponent. Passing. All right, well, there's Forerunner, so that finds our Atara. Land go. Mountain. Opponent. Getting in for one. Down to 19. That's fine. Opponent passes. 
I'll play Glacial Fortress and play Forerunner. So there's Etrata. We can cast it next turn. And we do have... All right. We're, we're going to do it. I mean, we're an Etrata deck, so we're going to do it. We even have a Siren's Ruse in hand, so that's one two creatures exiled and i mean worst case it does have five toughness so it's not that easy for the red deck to kill i guess that's a slight upside opponent mounted gets in with lava runner yep down to 18 and pyromancer yep down to 16 opponent passes well play glacial fortress run out of etrata pass the turn opponent Wizards Lightning are face down to 13. Untaps. Mountain. Opponent. Oh, I think we gotta block. We have to. I mean, if they throw a Wizards Lightning at a Tarada, that's that's worth it still. It's not as much fun, but Chain Whirler. Alright, opponent passes. Okay, now we're now we're in business. So now we get to play Glacial Fortress. Get in with Adrata. Hit our opponent. So put a trigger on the stack. Targeting Chain Whirler. And now we Siren's Ruse. Yes. Combo. Get rid of Chain Whirler. Pass the turn. Oh man. That's one creature exiled. We're close. We're close. Lightning Strikes our face. And there's Flame McHeld. Ew. Oh, come on, Siren's Ruse. Also, opponent play creature. <laughs> opponent passes. Isolated Chapel. Tap. Well, let's get in. No tricks this time. Just exile shuffle. Two creatures exiled, but Atara goes away. Past the turn. This flame of the cow is going to be an issue. Opponent draws two. Land. Opponent passing. Well, I mean, if we die to burn spells, we die to burn spells. Play Helm of the Host. Pass the turn. Opponent. Yup. Ultimates. Flame of the cow. Oh, we came so close. I like the counters. Opponent. Lightning Strike, down to two. Yeah, they drew, they drew all the burn spells. Yep. Well, we gave him a run. We gave him a run. We got two creatures exiled with the Tara. Let's bring in a Shalai. Bring in Moment of Craving. Go down, Dream Eater, Dream Eater. Yeah, try it like that. All right, we are on the play. Ugh, well, we're on the mulligan. All right, I guess we keep this, although, unfortunately, we can't cast any of our black cards. Glacial Fortress, go. Opponent. Mountain. Passes. Ugh. Well, we got Ataros for days, but we got no manas. Pass the turn. Opponent. Fanatical. Firebrand. Yup. Land. Give us a black source. Give us that swamp. Drown catacombs. Watery grave. Any of those. Opponent. Passes. Pass the turn. Well, the nightmare has begun. Opponent. Getting in. With the firebrand. The only saving grace is our opponent's also stuck on one land. So we're not just literally dead? Come on, deck. Black mana. Black mana. All right, there's a drow catacomb. So now we will... I guess we just play Lazif, which lets us surveil for a land. Yeah, let's mill it. Pass the turn. Opponent. All right, land number two achieved. Game on. All right, run away, Steamkin. And passes. Come on, deck, give us that untapped land. That's an untapped land. All right, so we will run out Atrata. Number one, pass the turn. Okay, okay, we might be doing it. Can we get the hit counters? Five toughness is a magical number against the red deck. I guess fight with fire. Most people are playing Lava Coil, though. Opponent, Mountain. Pyromancer. Yeah, pumping the runaway Steamkin. Hits us down to 14. Also turns on Wizard's Lightning. Opponent, no attacks. And passes. All right, well, get in with the Trata. Hit our opponent. Exile Steamkin. Play Atar number two. Pass the turn. Opponent. Shocks our face down to 12. Untaps. Mountain. Opponent, no attacks. Well, let's Discovery. See if we can find a blink effect. That's Siren's R Muse. All right, Doom Whisperer Graveyard, Siren's Ruse on top. Played around Catacobes. Get in with Atara. Oh man, the dream might be being lived here. Hit our opponent. Yup. Exile Pyromancer. Play Theft of Sanity. 
Pass the turn. All right. Theft of sanity down. Lightning strikes our face. Down to nine. Lightning strike. Opponent gets it. Down to eight. Land. And there's the flame McCald. Boo. Yup. Well, Chupacabra. Kill the firebrand. Pass the turn. Opponent draws a bunch of cards. Mountain. Lava runner. And firebrand. Okay. Opponent. No attacks. Let's stay on defense. Let's just Faraska's Contempt Lava Runner. Go up to 10. Play the Gilgate, pass the turn. So, last lower counter. Opponent can get us for three with Firebrand. All right, kills Chupacabra. And passes. Atara, Atara, that's Atara. <laughs> so this locks our opponent out of ever playing creatures. <laughs> If they ever play a creature, they lose until they kill Atara. We got him! We got him! It doesn't shuffle back in if there's no creatures. So, uh, I think we just, like, in a really weird way, locked our opponent out of this game. <laughs> Very not traditional, but I think that's what just happened. Vote it. Yup. I'll play a creature. Play a creature. <laughs> you can do it. Chain Whirler. Okay. Oh, now we win. I mean, I guess unless our opponent kills our own Chain Whirler, then we don't win, but opponent passes. Well, I mean, go attacking. Yup. Hit our opponent. Exile Chain Whirler. Game! Atara game! <laughs> it happened! It actually happened! <laughs> All right, run it back. Oh, that was pretty sweet. That was super sweet. Well, we got Ataras. We will keep. Dream Eater's a bit slow, but mountain. And get to Lava Runner. Yup. Well, let's get Watery. Watery Grave. Man, we actually have all the Ataras once we get white mana, because we can tutor one up with this Forerunner. Opponent. Mountain. There's a Steamkin. Well, we can just kill that with Moment of Craving. And will. Gets in. Yup. Down to 19. Opponent. Passing. There's our white mana, so let's drown Catacombs. Kill Steamkin. Man, I think we're just going to tutor it up <laughs> and have Ataratron in hand. <laughs> oh, God. Keep playing those creatures, opponent. You can do it. Firebrand. Uh-huh. Opponent. Getting in for one. Getting in for two. Yep, down to 19. This might work. This might work. Opponent passes. I'll play the planes. Run out, Forerunner. How many different ways have I said Atrata? <laughs> it's got to be a lot. Take a Trata, pass the turn. And for the next three turns, we get to play a Tratas. And let's see if that wins us the game. Opponent. Lightning strike, down to 16. Yup, gets to get in and hit us. Down to 13. Well, here comes a Trata number one. Opponent, passes. Play the swamp. Run out to Trata. Pass the turn. Untaps. Lava runner. Opponent goes attacking. Well, I think we just block here to not lose our... Atara to a Wizard's Lightning. Rigging Runner. Opponent passes. Well, get him with Atara. Hit our opponent. Exile Rigging Runner. Play Field of Ruin. Play Atara. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Goes to combat. Attacks. We dropped a seven. Well, we're going to block a Lava Runner. Down to seven. Lightning Strikes. All right, Atara down. Opponent passes. I'll play Isolated Chapel. Play Atara. Number three. We only have one creature with a counter on it, though. <laughs> Opponent's only got one card in hand, though. What do you got, about it? What do you got? What do you got? Chain Whirls. Us down to six. Okay. Opponent. No attacks. Hmm. Well, let's kill Lava Runner. Untap. Ooh, it's Siren's Ruse. Well, get in with Atara. Let's see if we can do this properly this time. Hit our opponent. Siren's Ruse. Exile Chain Whirler. Opponents again locked out of playing creatures. So they gotta burn us out. They gotta burn us out. They can't play creatures or they lose. There's Flame of the Cow to draw some cards. Okay. Passes. So we're gonna main phase this. Dream Eater. Bounce the Flame of Cow. Graveyard graveyard yeah graveyard graveyard just graveyard everything bounce the flame mccall yep hit our opponent down to 11 uh-huh pass the turn land for our opponent replays the flame mccall 
So they basically have to draw enough burn spells to kill us. Ponet. Passing. Sirens. Oh, Sirens Ruse is great. Hit our opponent. Oh, that is exactly what we wanted. Now we can temple them out again. Play Glacial Fortress. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Sirens Ruse the Dream Eater. Surveil. Um, we'll keep Veraska's Contempt. Bounce the Flame McKeld. Yes, please. So now our opponent can't draw two bolts. We have lethal threats. It's a land. It's a flame McKeld. And Atara, take it down bottle red. <laughs> Hard locking our opponent out of play creatures. And uh, that's kind of living the dream. That is living the Atara dream. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. And uh, yeah, tempoed him out. Tempoed out the red deck. <laughs> Woo, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. So what did we learn this week about Esper Atrada? And overall, we played six matches, won four of them, which is like 66 point something percent. Not bad for Esper Atrada. Although I will say we lost a third matchup to Mono Red. I did show it because I figured two was more than enough. I try to avoid duplicate matchups and three is just way, way too many, which would put us at four and three, which is still a fine record for a pretty off the wall deck idea. As far as Atrada itself, it really ranged from insanely good to insanely bad. So against the red decks, it was absurdly powerful. It was a good blocker, then we'd get a hit counter, then we get a second hit counter, and then we just lock our opponent out of really playing creatures for the rest of the game. So in matchups with lots of creatures where people are kind of grinding each other out, Atrada is super scary, and the ability to reuse Atrada with Forerunner or Siren's Ruse or Helm of the Host makes our deck even scarier. So there's matchups where Atrada is legitimately one of the best cards in our deck. On the other hand, there's matchups like against the Jeskai control deck where our entire deck just kind of does nothing. Atrada isn't good because our opponent doesn't have creatures. And if it was just Atrada, that would be okay. The problem is we don't just have Atrada. We have Forerunner to find Atrada. We have Siren's Ruse to blink Atrada. We have Helm of the Host to copy Atrada. So it's not just like we have a play set of one card that's bad in the matchup, but we have this spiraling effect where all the cards we're playing to support Atrada are also not good. So we'd rather die dodge the creature-free control decks if possible. I don't think, even with our sideboard being heavily weighted towards improving those matchups, we just have too many cards based around Atrada, and Atrada that really cares about playing against creature decks, for that matchup to really be practical. Like, sure, we could win it. We counter all the Teferis or whatever and dodge some counters and stick a Doom Whisper and steal a win, but those are matchups that we really don't want to play against against the control deck. So, I feel like Atrada was sweet. We got the hit counter kills. The biggest takeaway for me is, you don't really need three hit counters in a lot of matchups. A lot of times it's the second one. The first one, the opponent's like, all right, whatever, you shuffle it back in. You still need to hit me two more times. But after you get the second counter, that's when the game really changes because your opponent knows any one hit from Atrada is going to end the game. So that means they kind of just can't play creatures. We saw that multiple times against red decks where we had two hit counters. We'd have an Atrada and our opponent would just be locked out of playing creatures because if they did, we'd attack and exile it and win the game. So I feel like there's some big value with getting that second hit counter. And that's what really what we're working towards. And thanks to Forerunner of the Legion and Siren's Ruse and even Helm of the Host and Lazev, we're pretty good at getting in with Atrada. So I'm pretty happy with how the deck turned out. It was fun. We did get a trot of kills. We were reasonably competitive. Just hope you dodge the control decks because they're not fun at all for Atrada or the rest of our deck. So anyway, that's been our Against the Odds for this week. Esper Atrada for standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.